The only difference is, is now the root. And I'm gonna kind of put a positive spin on this. All it has done is it actually given us the opportunity to see extra countries. Good morning. Um, so after the chaos at the end of last week's video, and for those that haven't seen it yet, I'll give you a quick explanation. Basically, Alison got some bad news that her father had taken a bit of a turn for the worse. I dropped off at the airport to get the first flight back to the UK. And it's kind of where I left you explaining or trying to explain how I was gonna to have to drive back across Europe all on my own. Since that video, things have kind of taken a bit of a change, haven't they? To explain, oh, Alison got into the airport just before you were going through passport control. Alison gets a, a, basically informed that unfortunately her father had passed away. So the decision was made. Alison gave me a call and said, I'd like to come back out. I don't want to fly back. I want to travel back with us, me and the, 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 the furry kids. Now to quickly explain, unlike what a lot of you that don't live in the UK experience, um, funerals take quite a time to arrange in the UK. As in, believe it or not, four to six weeks is quite normal. Whereas, obviously, those of you who live in Spain and I believe most other areas of Europe, you're used to, and this is the explanation for the Brits, out here it's more norm that it's sometimes 24 hours to three days, max. So, what's happening now? Um, basically, we're currently still in Petraeus. Um, we've taken the opportunity for Alison to do her final medical appointment to get that sorted and we're hitting the road tomorrow morning but first up today we're going to be meeting up with a, a friend of ours whose birthday it is and we're actually going to take bar to a doggy resort to have a <laughs> bit of fun and try and relax for the day yeah yeah i think we all need it to be fair. yeah very much so morning auntie paloma are you ready? Yeah. Listo? Si, si, si. Well, we're in. Um, that actually came towards it, 34 euros for yeah. the three of us and the two dogs. I think it's 17 euros for the first person and the first dog together. Then it's seven euros for every human and dog thereafter. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's a lot bigger than I thought, isn't it? Hey? How do we get in? I don't know. Yeah, I nearly forgot there. I need to go and get changed because I'm, 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 I'm not in swimming wear. So, Ooh. changing rooms. Right, changed. Although I suppose from just seeing my t-shirt, you wouldn't know that. But I am changed and I am ready. And now we can go and have a look around this place. But I think that's what we're heading for: the doggy swimming pool. Happy dogs. So to give you a kind of a quick overview, they've got the the outside bar, Chiringuito there. There's a looks like a doggy football pitches, doggy agility course over the far side there, and then all kinds of playing areas and fields. But I think on a day like today, where it's going to be, what's it supposed to get up to? 34, 35 today. Yeah, um, I think most people are going to be heading for the pool. So, should we go to the pool? Go swimming? Paloma, piscina? Si, si, piscina, piscina. That was a lovely way to spend the afternoon. That was. 
It was a nice Barty way to spend enjoyed it, didn't last you, day. Paloma? Yeah. Disfruta? Mucho. Oh, do you know what? That's pretty much it for today. I think we'll see all you guys in the morning when we start this drive back to the UK. But we'll explain more about all of that in the morning and where we're going and what's happening when. All right? See you in the morning. Um, this is it for us. The day us. has come. Yeah. Full of mixed feelings this morning, both of us, because oh, being blunt, we're now leaving Petraeus. But because we know we're leaving for Petraeus for, well, two years is the plan, yeah. it feels like another horrid goodbye scenario again. But at the same time, we're a little bit excited because this is kind of the start of the big, massive two-year adventure that we've been planning for what feels like four or five years things are about as sort as they're gonna be mm. yeah we just gotta we're gonna head into gandia just now top up with lpg gas top up with go-go juice diesel and then clean start the heading house. north oh yeah we need to clean the house we need to give percy a blooming good clean we're gonna start heading north then to a place called segunto and it's kind of quite a poignant place to stop, really, when you think about it. Because it's a... Segunto is where the route just changed for us. We'd have headed directly north of Segunto. Now we've got to head slightly off inland. Mm. But look, we're going to get sort of get there, and then we'll probably explain a lot more to you later about the plan. Is not quite where we said it was going to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to explain, Again. on route, we kind of started thinking about the plan. You realised there was somewhere that you really wanted to go and see, so we skipped Segunto a little bit, um, and we've come straight to here, which is Teruel. Teruel. We stayed here last night. We actually stayed in a car park um, on the outskirts of town to a Dinopolis theme park, a dinosaur theme park. Yeah. But this morning we've moved into the town, Park Percy just here, right by these two great bridges. I think that's the new one, and that's the old original one over there. All right, let's get up there. Right, so we're at the train station. Yeah. And we've just been having a bit of a debate, because I thought Alison said, she wants to come around this way, because we've kind of taken a bit of a stroll around the edge of the town, to come and see the train station. Yeah, yeah, no, I got it wrong. We've not come to see the train station at all. We've come in the direction of the train station. To see some stairs. To find the steps. The stairs. Now, you guys at the moment can't see what we can see just up here. <laughs> it looks really spectacular. Well, first impressions of this city. It's really gorgeous. well, yeah, it's really well presented. I yeah. mean, the grass. Again, you can tell we're getting going north in Spain now because the grass is really green and actually, that's actually proper grass. It is proper grass. It's not astroturf yeah. this time. I'm surprised so far. <laughs> this looks really nice. Have you um, seen the lights as well? Yeah. They're really gorgeous. Sorry. We're kind of, we're in one of those moods again where the, the heads are flicking all over the show. Yeah. They look really old, don't they? Yeah. They're really beautiful. However, oh. we've got some stairs to go up. We have, but I'm a bit torn now. Why? Well, because stuff to the left of the stairs actually looks equally intriguing. Mm. I don't well, want let's... to walk up the stairs twice. This is all I'm thinking. <laughs> let's, th let's go to here I'm th and yeah, then I was have a say, look. I'm thinking we can go halfway up show everybody the the thing at the top of the stairs and then if we want to hook left 
Well, no, because the majority... I don't know, but the majority on, of the town sorry. is higher. Yeah, sorry, what is that? I think that might be part of the old walls. I'm talking about here, the, this thing. The kind of tunnel-y looking thing. Yeah. I don't know. I have not got a clue, but I think yeah. it goes through the walls. That is pretty... Um, Spectacular. Isn't it just? Yeah. That's phenomenal with the, the whatever it is in the middle there and, and just the overly excessive stairs that go around the side there mm -hmm. for some reason. However, yeah. I know you're itching to go and see... Go and see what that tunnel that thing is. Yeah, they, those stairs are something special. By the way, we're now wandering back over to the this tunnel thing. I'm dying to know what that is. I've not seen that on anything. To be fair, I didn't even know about the stairs existing. They're just it's spectacular from the outside, aren't they? They are. I don't know if we're right or wrong here. I don't quite know what to expect. I wonder. I think this is going to be a tunnel all the way through. What do you reckon? I was going to say, I wonder if it's a bit like the one in Denia. Maybe. That goes through to the castle. Ooh, it's getting dark. It's, uh... Oh. Lifts. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't go very far. It's lifts. But yeah, but it is... Li li Hello. It's people's feet. Is. Wow. It's lifts so that people don't have to walk up the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> now, because, as you probably may have just seen, I just did a bit of overlapping B-roll on that last when we were talking about stairs because I didn't think we'd be coming up the stairs but now that's not a tunnel I guess to walk up the stairs a second time <laughs> you have I was <laughs> sensible and stayed at the bottom because yeah. I knew we'd be walking up the stairs to be fair it's not actually that warm is it it's actually quite cool today yeah I'm warm but yes it's meant to be cool <laughs> <laughs> what I was getting at is uh we, we, like I said, we stayed here last night and it got really cold. Four degrees, wasn't it? It was four degrees. And I don't think we've ever experienced that low of temperatures in Spain at all, have we? We almost did. Did we? When we went to Morea the first time, it was going to be yeah, yeah, four yeah, degrees yeah, yeah, yeah. and we went, <laughs> no. no, and we came back down the mountain. Sadly, we, this we time We didn't realise, did we? We didn't realise it was going to be that cold because we, we were only down... Oh, an hour away on the coast. Yeah, yeah. Segorba. Yeah, and um, no, that was lovely too. and warm. And then we travel an hour inland and it was actually blooming freezing last night. We put the heating on in the motorhome for the first time last this, this morning. This morning, yeah. yeah. Only for 20 minutes or so, but it was, mm. it was one of those days when you'd really rather not get out from under the duvet. Yeah. And the fact that we were under the duvet, not on top of it. Mm. Right. Would you rather get off the stairs and we go and see more? Oh, yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> Come on, Bart, let's go. Well, we get to the top of the stairs and we're in this Quite a typical city area, isn't it? With the, yeah. the bars and that down the side. Mm -hmm. And some incredible buildings. Look at this they white really one on the corner are. here. Yeah, absolutely stunning. But we're heading up this way now, are we? We're heading up those stairs in front of us. Okay. And we get to the top of the stairs and what was, oh, it's going to say, what is everyone staring at? <laughs> Oh, that is spectacular. Oh, that is just special. Isn't it? And this was, this was the walls to the city? I, I assumed that these down here were the walls to the city because this building here, yeah. that's the Aragon government, yeah. has got oh, buttresses yeah. on the other side. Wow. Which okay. makes it look like that was a, like a fortress part. But, I mean, but yeah, that's, that's an entrance miss though. That, can you? Oh, that's phenomenal. <laughs> Someone's oh. tired. Huh? Someone's tired. Seriously, Bar, we're only just started. Well, I'm actually really starting to get this place now. It's I'm starting amazing. to understand. To explain a little bit further, when we got to the, there's a free air here, and when we got there last night, it was rammed. Yeah. And we've not seen a, a park up rammed like that ever, I don't think. But yeah, when you've got a city that looks like this, 
you can understand why there's so many people here yeah and why the air is so full yeah i suppose it doesn't help though the fact that we seem to be doing our motorhome travels the wrong, the wrong way, way around but what we mean by the wrong way around is everywhere we've traveled everyone else seems to be going in the opposite direction well that's a good thing <laughs> yeah but i like that i love that but the problem is is that what we've done is we've been heading in the direction like so we went north when it was getting colder and then we were heading south when it was getting hotter which is why most airs we've seen this summer have had like one maybe two motorhomes in it yeah I think we're, on this next two year trip we're going to have to kind of switch things around a little bit we'll probably try and get to the south of Turkey as quickly as possible for the warmth and then start making our we probably won't but that's what we'll try indeed in the meantime yeah have you seen the Kahara Al? yeah I, that, I was kind of looking at that out of the corner of my eye that's a bit Oh, it's utterly over the top, but I, I love, love it. it. Yeah. I love the colour. It looks like a piece of Wedgwood pottery. Right, I'm going to say this, and this is the madness of it. I think if you had turned around and said to me, could we paint our house those colours, I'd have probably gone... Mm, Not so much. Light blue and white, but with the pinky windows. Yeah, don't know. But I absolutely adore that. But that's because it's so ornate. Like I said, it looks like Hello. a piece of Wedgwood. What's going on here? I would imagine it's a coach trip. Hi, coach trip. The it's Phantom's this... really pretty now that it's not surrounded by lots of tourists. By a school trip. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, it's got that grandeur of like Valencia, mm. but it feels closer. It's not so spread out, which yeah. makes it really special. Yeah. I love it. I really do. Which way are we going now, by the way? Actually, yeah. I want to just go over there a little bit more so I can see the other side of the Caja Rural building. Oh, okay. And then we're going in the opposite direction. Okay, come on then. Let's go and see the other side of the Caja Rural building. Right, and we've come up to what looks like the town hall. I thought so, because it's got the flags, but it's an old people's home. I was gonna, no, I was going to just notice on the corner. Yeah. Up here. It's an old people's home. How fabulous is that? It's, it's quite incredible. I love that balcony. I do. Could you imagine that being like an apartment? Oh, it would be oh. amazing, wouldn't it? And but, then turn around and face hold, the other hold, way. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Sorry, I was going to say, I wonder yep. what the view's like. But... Turn around and face the other way. I had, I, do you know what I really love? This, this, this just brickwork with all the tile, coloured tiles in it. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen anything like it before. No. Don't trip over the big chain. No, but over. Big chain. Over, good boy. Yeah, I, I honestly cannot think of. Yeah, I honestly can't think that we've ever seen anything like this place. No. Because in reality, it's just kind of plain brick, isn't it? But then yeah. they jazzed it right up with really bright coloured tile sections. Hang, 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 fire. Hang fire. Okay. Is it just me? Or. Or is that tower wonky? Is it doing a bit of a lean and tower hey. pizza business? Or is that just me with a, monk, a wonky eye? It lean looks like it goes to the well. It looks like it goes to the left. Mm, maybe. I don't know. So that's actually the town hall then. So we yeah. have actually found the We've town found hall. We've found the town hall beside the what I think is a wonky tower. Yeah, tower. But look down there. Doesn't. And that's not the one that we've already come past. I was just about through. to say, no. that, that, so that's a different one. That's a different one. Yeah, lots of towers then. Apparently, yeah. it used to have 40 towers. Like that one? I don't know if they were all like that or whether these are a slightly more modern rebuild, whether it was 40 towers 10th like that century where they had 40. But there aren't that many left. Right. Apparently. Apparently. But we've seen, <laughs> we've seen a few. Yeah. We were getting a little sidetracked there because we're trying to do this in some kind of sensible order, aren't we? But oh, there now... is no sensible order. We're just, there's too many towers, too many gorgeous buildings, and yeah. we're just going to have to ignore the plan, the route that I'd kind of got in my head, because just no. Okay. But before we go into the rest of this city, just want to explain, we are going to bring you all up to speed on recent events and 
how that affects our plan for the next two years. But we're gonna do that at the end of the video. So basically, if you're interested in seeing this bit, but don't want to know what we've got planned for the next two years or how that may have changed, once we leave here, you can switch off. <laughs> and if you are interested in knowing what we're doing for the next two years, the next big fan, hang on to the end. This is the, the old aqueduct. And do you know what I really like about this one? You can walk underneath it. I was going to say, but unlike when you did that thing to me in Portugal and made me walk over the aqueduct, by the way, I've got a severe fear of heights, this one, we can, well, walk through. We finally made it back to, well, the church square that we got sidetracked into a while ago. That's pretty spectacular, and I love the gates. This one's a cathedral. Is it a cathedral? Yeah. Doors are shut though. Yeah. They're double shut because the doors are shut and the gates are shut. Yeah. Again, I think we mentioned it earlier about all this colourful stuff they put on it. Mm. But it's just higgledy piggledy, isn't it? It's glorious. I love that. Adios. Gracias. Um, he, he saw us coming, didn't he? Why? Nearly 10 euros for three stickers and a sherbet dippy thing. Yeah. Wow. I would say they're probably 250, which yeah. would be 750, and this 220. I haven't maybe? said this for a while. I feel fleeced again. <laughs> I don't do. <laughs> ah, well. Ooh, 250 for That's not tiny for little stickers. By the way, in case you're not aware, we put stickers in the back of Percy of where we've been. You're supposed to dippy dippy. You don't want your cherry lolly. I'll eat my cherry lolly later. Oh, okay. I wanted the share, but. I don't think I've ever seen you demolish a sherbet so it's a quick. <laughs> sugar hit. Oh, I dear. need a sugar hit. Going to be bouncing off the ceiling soon. Oh, I wish. <laughs> right. Oh, sorry, Bart. I presume we're Come going on, through here now, yeah? Oh, wow. Yeah, wow, was about right. Look at this. With the statue of some monkey person. <laughs> as in monk, not, not as the in animal. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then, what's that? Residency. That's, that's not another old people's home, is it? Uh, I would say it's probably more where the priests uh, lived. Kind of makes a bit more sense. And then another entrance to the back of the cathedral there. So there's one more thing we want to do today before we leave this city. But unfortunately, Bart, Barty for this one, you're going to have to go back to the motorhome. So <laughs> we got directions on Google. We're heading back to Percy to drop Bart off. And then we're going to do this last, one last thing, yeah? However, on the way back, we found another square. Now we. We weren't planning on coming in here, we didn't even know this was here. And again, no. this is just lovely. That's obviously the National Police Station there. But look behind found you. you. What's that? Oh, this building, with a restaurant at the bottom. Yeah. Enough getting sidetracked by uh, beautiful squares. We're trying to make our way back to Percy, and we're trying to find a lift, actually. So, climbing back up the hill. Um, is that right? A, a, a lift? lift, as in... Uh, Elevator or elevator, yeah. rather than a lift, as in thumbing a lift. <laughs> and why walk down the hill when you can come up here, get an amazing view, and get the lift down? Indeed. Look at that. I love the red canyon around the outside. Yeah, we saw this on the way in here, and I don't know if you can see that through the end there, but 
all of a sudden as we got close to the city the landscape just changed to this red sort of I don't know clay, clay type yeah stuff. clay type stuff oh hello look at this <laughs> Let's see wow. if Bart likes it, shall we? That's a long way down. <laughs> Not remotely bothered, are you? Not bothered, kid. Okay, zoom in. And... <laughs> Don't be nosy. Send us. Yeah. Oh, blimey. That's Bart back in bed. Yep. And now we're going to head back to this last thing we want to see. Wish However, I could stay with him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it feels like a long way up now, all of a sudden, I've been walking around that city today. But one thing we want to uh, make an announcement of in a second, I'm going to get my breath back. Ah, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, announcement. So, we're actually going to plan to do our first live YouTube thingy. Going to do it on the 4th of December. We're looking for your guidance on times because we're thinking sort of five o'clock our time here in Central Europe. That'll be four o'clock back in the UK. But we know we've got viewers from kind of all around the world now. So give us a bit of guidance what works for people if you're interested in joining us that day. And it's really your chance to ask us anything you want to answer, to be honest with you. Yeah? Yes, so email your questions through. Yeah, email, drop in the comments. Like I said, we'll uh, update everybody closer to time when we've got a fixed time, um, but it will be on uh, December the 4th, which is a Wednesday. And I'm sure there'll be plenty more chocolate involved. There'll need to be lots of chocolate involved. <laughs> Calm the nerves. All right, anyway, let's go and do this thing <laughs> while we're here. Um, but apparently four o'clock in the afternoon is the time to come and see this thing. There appears to be a very large tour group going in there. It'll be that tour group that were having their photo taken in front oh, of the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the full small fountain. Outing. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so we've got a bit of a wait. So yeah, could be worse places to sit and look. But where we are is we're at well this place which is the mausoleum of the lovers and while we're waiting oh. i will tell you the story of the lovers okay so there were two families it, it kind of sounds a little bit romeo and juliet-ish gotcha two wealthy families of teruel yeah. um diego and isabel so they were childhood sweethearts and diego's family fell on hard times right and isabel's father banned her from marrying him. Diego basically said to her father, give me five years, I will go off and I will earn my fortune yeah. and come back in five years to the day and I will ask you for Isabel's hand. The day of the fifth year turning came and Isabel waited and Diego mm. didn't turn up. Gotcha. So she caved in and married a man that her dad had lined up for her on that day. Okay. Unfortunately, Diego hadn't counted the day that he actually spoke to Isabel's dad, turned up the next day, having made Ouch. his fortune, saying, where is my love? Where is my future wife? To which point she'd got married. And okay. he basically snuck into their bridal chamber that night while her new husband was asleep and said to Isabel give me a kiss I'm dying and she said I can't I'm going to be true to my husband he is my husband I cannot kiss you and Diego fell dead at her feet and then on the day of um, Diego's funeral she went dressed in her wedding dress into the chapel and kissed Diego well, Diego's dead body and drop dead herself. Okay. So they were buried. Not not quite the, the side the, by the side. Cheerful story. Well, like I said, it's a bit Romeo and Juliet. They were buried side by side. I was waiting for a really romantic story. She didn't wait wait very long, did she? Well, she'd been. He didn't turn up on the first day, and it was like, right, I'm marrying someone else. Then he's late. I presume this is the building. 
Yes. But you know what I find really interesting about this? What? Th this is like the old building, but then they've just kind of... Put a new building around built, it. Built around it. Yeah. I think it's quite incredible. But apparently, I think if we go around here, this is what everybody's come to see. So, this is the lovers then. Yeah. Wow, so we've come into the, the church, chapel. Church. Do you know what? First thing I'll say, I've never seen so many people in a tourist attraction that we've been in before. No. It's just tour group after tour group after tour group. This is quite special. I mean, it's just incredible. It that must have taken so long to carve. Yeah, that wooden altarpiece. That's beautiful. Again, it's not over the top with flashy colours, but it's really pretty. Mm. Well, we've got a quiet minute. Yeah. Did you notice anything about the uh, hands of the mausoleum things? They weren't touching. They weren't touching. They weren't allowed to touch because Isabel she was, was married. married to somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. So even in death, they weren't allowed to touch. Yeah spent their whole lives in love and denied yeah constant I, I joke around because at the end of the day you rightfully said it's different times and I did joke at Isabel's expense saying she didn't wait very long he was only a day late after five years could have waited the extra day just saying could have done but the times but, yeah. were completely different and they were forced into marriage yeah well that was a thing <laughs> didn't you like that I, oh, I've got mixed feelings about it oh. I really the story's actually quite nice and I do like the the actual what they call it the casket lid the statue thing with them laying down kind of holding hands but not yeah the attitude of the staff <laughs> could have been better the lady going in was a little bit a little brisk. bit abrupt yeah rest um, were nice and Nine euros seems a little steep compared to everything else we've seen in the world. Yeah. For that. Yeah. But I'm glad we did it. Yeah. Yeah. That was the thing I wanted to see, yeah. really. Anything with a bit of love's good by me. Oh. Anyway, so this is your cue now. If you are not interested in uh, knowing what the next two years holds for us, our big adventure, our big uh, tour through Europe and into Turkey for the next two years thanks for watching and we'll see you maybe next week <laughs> um, if you are interested stick around we're going to get back to, to uh, back to Turkey get back to Turkey no we're not we're going to get back to no. Percy and um, we'll give you a very quick rundown to another couple of minutes of your time to explain what's in store over the next two years well if you're still with us thanks <laughs> um, so we just want to take a couple of minutes to explain what the events of the last few weeks mean to the next couple of years for this channel and our tour in short it's not going to change a great deal is it we were leaving when we left the only difference is is now the route and going to kind of put a positive spin on this all it has done is it actually given us the opportunity to see extra countries we left Petraeus the day we planned to leave Petraeus the only difference is is we <laughs> we're taking a different route now we've got a 1700 kilometer detour that we're doing so the original plan was head north cut uh, into France across northern Italy and in, then into Slovenia, then Slovenia, Croatia, down towards Albania and hope of spending Christmas in Greece. That's not gonna happen. We're not gonna get to Greece for Christmas, that's for sure. 
what we are now doing is we're now heading north, um, actually heading towards uh, Zaragoza at the moment, and I think we're going to do a, spend a couple of days there to record, um, and then heading into France, through France, and back to the UK for your father's funeral. Going to spend a couple of weeks in the UK, and then, I suppose, officially start the plan tour a little late. We've still got a lot of thinking to do and a lot of planning to do. Um, just really because we don't, we want to try and avoid this mistake, don't we, again, and try and get to the south of Turkey before the heat really hits and then tour back up. Yeah. Fingers crossed. In a year from now, you may all be laughing at us when we've just cooked in the south of Turkey. <laughs> No, oh. I don't wanna. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So yeah, the the the, the plan is there, but it might need some moving. Um, yeah, moving countries around to try and be in countries at the right time of year to get the better weather for us. Yeah. I think that makes sense. Does that make sense? Probably not, but at least you'd have hopefully got the general gist the of The general gist is, the big news is, is we're travelling back to the UK. We're going to try and record as much as we can while we take a slow drive up so that we don't have to bore you with stuff in the UK and we can focus. What is that noise? It's the... Oh, sorry. I don't know if it's yeah, been coming out Sorry if you're hearing thing. squeakies. <laughs> it's, it's not little bottom trumpets. It's uh, <sighs> mm. the, the table. The bench. We'll try to make sure we've got enough videos so you don't have to follow us around in the UK and we can focus on what needs to be done. So in theory for you at that point, you'll see us probably somewhere in France and then the week over after that, probably somewhere in France again after having done the UK. Yeah. It's kind of really what we wanted to bring you up speed on. I know, I don't know, I just feel like, I don't know, we're not, as in control as we have been. Oh, things. we're not remotely in control of what's going on at the moment. We're never, no, we're never really no. in control, are we? No, we're not but in control of what's happening. We're we not in control of how we're feeling. We kind of got this loose plan that we head. We're heading in this direction. Yeah. We want to see this, this, and this. And at the moment, it it we're feels just a little having to fly by the seat of our pants. Yeah, yeah. We th we're doing this. To, we're filming this tomorrow for next week's video and we think we're going to Zaragoza and going to spend a couple of days there filming and Albarracin who knows can't even pronounce Albarracin yeah. Thin. who knows eh. we're just winging it right you can't tell can you please say you can't tell I think that's going to be it guys for now mm -hmm. um, thanks for watching hopefully it's not been too painful this week I know we're not probably not in the best of spirits. We're trying. Yeah. Very <laughs> trying. <laughs> right. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next oh, Sunday. Take care. Bye. See you next Sunday. Bye.